is in the NHL. And here we go out at center. Smith and Kastelik. A couple of big boys right there. Lion will scoop it up. Takes a face full of snow and Rakto Gudis buries Brown. Brown came in and gave Alex Lyon a face full of ice. And Gudis with no hesitation got in there. And here go Brown and Gudis. Gudis throwing the punches. Senators win the board battle. Get it out in front. Deflected Kachuk knocks over Lyon again. And there was no call again. And Mark Stahl goes after Kachuk. I mean, the last four or five minutes, all kinds of contact. And here we go. It's Batherson and Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk dropping the gloves. And Brady Kachuk and Stahl. Now they drop the gloves. And they're letting them go. I mean, just way too much contact with Lyon. And without calls being made, the Panthers are standing up well in front of their goaltender. Oh, Giovanni Smith hit hard by Zoo. That's a penalty, and Smith goes right after him. Giovanni Smith, oh, and then he gets jumped by Kastelik. There was a call on the Zub hit originally. And Giovanni Smith is one. He popped right back up and took care of business himself. This is going to be his second fight of the game. They're very effective line. Carl Hagler, Nick Dowd, and Garnered Hathaway. They combined for two goals, three assists. Here we go. Right, and right off the faceoff. Three fights simultaneously. Rooney and Dowd. Di Giuseppe going at it with Hathaway, Blackwell, and Hagelin. One second in. First of all, classy move by Blackwell. He had Hagelin down and he didn't throw an extra punch. Hathaway and Di Giuseppe are really getting after one another. Tom Wilson on the ice for the first time. He has the puck, and here's the booze from the crowd. And here's now, Brandon, Smith. Brandon Smith goes right after Wilson. Yep. It did not take long, Pierre. Nope. He showed it in the warm-up. Brandon Smith, and he knew. And he's hanging in there real well against an unbelievable heavyweight in Tom Wilson. He certainly is. Well, three fights simultaneously right at the start, and now 50 seconds in, Wilson's first shift. And now he and Smith are separated. And now Batetto drops the gloves with Michael Roffel. This is the fifth altercation in the first four minutes, 14 seconds. Anthony Batetto, the New York native, and the longtime Philadelphia Flyer, Michael Roffel. Here we go, another one. It's Ryan Strom and Lars Eller. You're right, Pierre. They might not have enough players left to play hockey. Interesting. I wonder what the pep talks were like before this game in either locker room. Ryan Reeves drops him for the first time this season with Minnesota against Nicholas Delorier. Who else? Wow. Buckle up. These are two heavies. Reeves took the first few swings, sizing up Delorier. Yes. And Reeves goes on the offensive with a flurry of runs. Two tough customers. Long and rangy, too. Jostling at this point. Braves. Tactical bout. Lands a right, tries an uppercut on Deloria. Got by the jersey. 40 seconds in already. Deloria. Got another one. And another one coming in deep. Mason Shaw. And Wade Allison. That didn't waste any time. Fans on their feet here. Flyers up 1-0 on the wild. We got and here we go again. Oh, my goodness. Get involved. Third time in the last 15 seconds of game action. Wow. It's McEwen and Polino, and it's Haymakers. 
Another heavyweight bout. Bold landing, some heavy punches. And Polino gets McEwen down to his knees. One or two plays too many on that two on one. And another tilt. Fourth one already, and here they go. Duhaim against Brown. Wow. Duhaim reigning the rights. Brandon Duhaim was chewing on paper pregame in the dressing room and now locking horns with Patrick Brown. It's Petrovic and Kane. Evander Kane, Petrovic's got the helmet off. Now Kane's bonnet is off too, and they're against the glass. Oh, Kane throws a couple of rights over top. Petrovic took a bit of a breather, and Kane popped him. Now he's got him in a headlock, and the linesman jump in to break it up. Circle in for O'Reilly. Drop. Here's Felino with a shot of the rebound. Stopped by Luongo as Evander Kane, who's had one scrap with Petrovic. They separate. Kane doing a lot of movement of the hands. Now they lock up again, trying to keep his distance. Petrovic, a big man. They're locked up. Kane coming over top. Third scrap of the evening between these two. Comes over top. Right hand. Kane lands another one. Kane keeps throwing. Petrovic goes down. James Reimer, the netminder, is writhing in pain in the crease. And there's a scrap going on in behind between Yandel and Roussel. And Antoine is feeding uppercuts. Now he's going after Yandel. Yandel doesn't want any part of this. No, he he backs off. He needs, and he finally gets. Ekblad didn't like the hit from Shore. McKenzie down to fight at center. Haley and Foxa. This is Haley's thing. Yeah. Not Braddock Foxes. Not to jump on for Lindell. Came across another scrap. McKenzie for Florida. Uppercuts coming from Braddock Foxa. Now McKenzie's free. Braddock's got him in a bad spot. He just can't get free to throw a punch. Wrestles him down to the ice. The fans here love that. Petrovic trying to pick a fight with Roussel. In comes Hedrington. And they're going to go. The two of them wrestle in the corner. Throw some punches. Now body blows from Dylan Hedrington. Three games, two fights. He's going to leave the Stars in penalty minutes here in short order. They continue to hug, get free, and throw one, and now they go down in a pile of humanity. Guys are trying to take chances, now Richie's going to fight Brickley. Richie has the right out, and he has the reach. Oh, he lays in with a right, another, another as Brickley was down. After the check, and Steven Johns, they go in the corner. John just looks at him. You want to go? Okay, let's go. He had loads with about four or five rights and just skates off the ice. But Bowles' last game was against the Kings. He's been in San Diego since recovering from a knee injury, and he and McDermott stop one another at center. McDermott with short laps as they each get a hold of one another's sweater. Trying to load up the big roundhouse. Right is Bowl. It's McDermott with a reach advantage, and he lands the first right. Bowl measures, fires. Now it's roundhouse rights for both of them. Oh boy, they're throwing bombs. There's no messing around here. An uppercut from Bull. McDermott comes over the top a couple of times. Bull continues to try to keep his distance. 
McDermott, the penalty minute leader for the Kings this season. And now it's a short left by Bowl that lands on him. And the linesmen are measuring this just as much. Uh, right over the top for McDermott. Do you blame him? I wouldn't get in there. <laughs> and now Lonnie Cameron dives in first, and it'll be a well-earned five. San Diego over the minors for the first time in his NHL career. And now Bieksa and Andrioff, who fought last time these teams played here on the 25th of November, will go at it again. It was a one-punch win for Bieksa that time. He goes with the left this time. Andrioff stays on his feet, and this will last longer. Right from Bieksa as Andrioff gets in close. For Bieksa, his fifth tilt of the year, and Andrioff gets a right hand up and cut in. Now left hands from Bieksa, knocks the helmet off of Andrioff, and he slings Bieksa to the ice. Exchanged after the fight, and here we go again. Nick Ritchie and Kyle Clifford right off the faceoff. And it's short left from Ritchie as he has a hold of Clifford's sweater around the neck. Now a right hand from Ritchie. Clifford has only played in 11 games all year and only has four penalty minutes, but he's no stranger to fisticuffs. Richie lands a right, and a couple more as Clifford goes to the ice, and he takes exception. Check out the scoreboard. It's not time to go, and now Ferraro is going to have a goal, and he gets the last lap on McCormick, who went in just firing away, and Ferraro's not done. And Kawa and Durzinski with a pretty nasty intentional hit. Right between the eight and the six. And now Neal squares off and he wants McQuaid no matter what. I think McQuaid just wants to wrestle this one out. Now he's going to drop. There they go. Rock em, sock em, robots. in the NHL. Durzinski nearly truncated his entire career by mistakenly taking on Fraser McLaren, looking for the toughest guy in the bar.